Hail Hydra. All right, I couldn't resist. All right, I want to. This is part two of my other one I just did real quick. I'm not like Star Wars where you go back in time and do the prequel. This is actually. Oh, look at this old spark plug. I don't want to blame Volkswagen, but uh, before I was at FS Tuning and before I got the KO4 Turbo, I used to always go to do the services at my uh, dealership. Uh, now I don't because I have uh, Liquid Molly and uh, I got the, the KO4 upgrade, so I'm just going to uh, go to FS Tuning for everything. And look at this old spark plug. That almost looks like it's the original spark plug. Look at this. What the heck? I mean, I wonder if they never ever changed my spark plugs. But I'm not going to blame them. But here's the bad news on that. You know, these are my old coils right here. Um, look at this one. Wait, is that the one? Yeah, it's wet, isn't it? Yeah, this one is wet, which is... That means I got to get an oil gasket cover. Or oil cover gasket. So that's what I'm going to be getting next week. It's just a little wet. Uh, these are the old ones. Uh, they actually recommended the regular black ones. They said these don't do anything more than the black ones. But you know what? There's two ways you can look at that. This may not do any more, but these are in the Audi R8. So, to me, it's worth four bucks more to have the ones in the Audi R8. I've read some people that say that they're, they're, they actually have a hotter spark, but I bet you it's not true. I mean, I, I don't really know. I mean, if it is, it's negligible. So either way, I think you can go with the black ones, but I like the red because they look better. So to me, it's worth four bucks to say, hey, what coil pack do you have? Audi R8 ones. You don't have to even say, hey, they're better. You just say Audi R8. Ooh, Audi R8. So these are the same ones that go in the Audi R8. They used to be cheaper when they first came out because I think they figured you'd buy eight or 10 at a time, depending on what Audi R8 you had. So they were like 20 bucks a piece, where mine are 25. Now these are 29. But that's the ones I got. But this is uh, the spark, the old spark plugs. But th to me, they don't look like they were just replaced like 40,000 miles ago. And really, I'm going to be doing it every 20 or 30. Actually, I was talking to Ray the other day, and he said he does his 20. But Fabian said you can do it every every uh, 30. Get your coil pack and your spark plugs. Because uh, Ray tracks his car. So he's uh, really, you know, it's used aggressively. So... Every t Actually, I'm going to go somewhere between. I'm going to compromise. I'll probably go every 25,000. Whenever I feel like it. You should feel how smooth it is now. Oh, my gosh. This is like, man. So I got new spark plugs and new coils. Actually, let's start it up and let's... I'm behind the uh, theater here. Or there's not a theater here anymore. It shows my age. I was here when there was a theater. I'm going to get the oil everywhere in the car. Let me roll these up. Put those back. Or is that the oily one? No, that's a dry one. Uh, all I know is it's way smoother. All right. By the way, just got the new ratchet and clank. Hope it's good. It's actually the original story, but it's retold and it's got new uh, bosses and it's. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Those, these games are pretty fun. All right. Let me get in here. Hold the camera all over the Woo, got hot in here. They say in Florida, you're never supposed to hop in your car right away. Mine hasn't been sitting that long. But in Florida, you know you can get brain damage. That's how hot our cars get. They get between 130 to 140 degrees. And if you just open your car and hop in in the summer, part of your brain gets melted as you hop in because that goes right up into your nostrils, into your lungs, into your brain. Not good. That could explain a lot of things, though. Let me open that up. All I can say is it starts up nicer. I only had one engine symbol blink when I really gave it the beans the other day. And it never did it again. But that's a sign that the, the coils need replaced because it's like a misfire. And then the engine symbol went off. Sorry for crotch cam. I'm going to be... Let's pick it up again. All right. I'm in old lady mode. I'm in, uh, I'm in regular transmission mode. Let me go into... <laughs> I gotta watch. This is a lumpy street, though, too. I could go into sport and really get carried away, but it would be so aggressive. People would run for the hills. 
because it would go all the way up to the red line in every gear. Instead, I'm just going to go into Tiptronic, which switches like that, and it's over to the side. There's a car coming. I pretend like I'm reading the map. I think I'm doing something. What is that? My receipt. Oh my god, what did I buy? Oh my god. See, I don't want to be like, I don't want to turn what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's just hear it a little bit. Woo, smooth. The road wasn't smooth, but my car was smooth. Let's go back up here. And we're just going to go on the regular road. Cops are plentiful around here. We basically live in a police state in America. We have the slowest roads of any countries in the world. We used to have 55 mile an hour was our fastest road when I grew up. Isn't that ridiculous? And we had like muscle cars that could go like 140. Enough of that. And I think I better cool my jets. That's it. 45. They tore down the police station. Oh no, they didn't. It's still there. I'm being good. All right. That's enough of that. But I would judge that it's very smooth and it's smoother than ever, actually. The, the acceleration is really good. There's no misfire now. And I'm gonna switch back into old lady mode, which is automatic mode. And now I can drive sensibly, have the power to resist. I think we have a little bit of Hydra in all of us, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'll be good. See, now I'm back to drive mode. Let me switch through and see how much miles I'm getting. Okay, I averaged 36 miles an hour because I took the slow roads. I've gone 41 miles. I can go 325 miles till I refill. Still making 28.3 miles per gallon. That's not bad. I was driving a little aggressively there too. Or I should say spiritedly. Hail Hydra, I'm out. <laughs>